All right, good morning, everyone. I am going to share with you a um, an app or a sort of on online application that I've discovered, which uh, I think I found quite useful. Haven't completely figured it out yet, but I'm going to show you how you kind of go about setting it up. Uh, so if you click on this tab, this is called uh, watchtogether.com. Uh, you'll need to set up an account, but you can log in with your Google account. That's pretty easy. And what you do is uh, this allows you to watch movies, uh, watch YouTube videos or other, other videos uh, in kind of real time with your class. Uh, so it's very useful if you're kind of watching a documentary together or if you're, um, you know, using, um, so it's quite, a, quite, I find it quite a useful thing for remote learning. It's not perfect. I'm still figuring bits of it out, but I'll, I'll show you what I've, I've, I've figured out so far. So um, what you do is you sort of, uh, for each one of these, you kind of, once you've logged in and you've created your account, then it works on the, on the, sub, on the idea of rooms. I'm doing something on storytelling using Pixar right now. So to set up a new room, what you need to do is, first of all, find the video that you want to use. So this is um, one where this one here, yeah. So what you do is you, I'm just going to wind, scrub this back to the start. Copy the YouTube, um, the video's URL. Go to Watch Together and set up a room. And it'll start up this being called Temporary Room. So what you do first is you put your video in there. It starts off with a default, sorry, it starts with a default video, which will get really annoying only when you've uh, watched it a few times. So the first thing you do is paste that in there, and then you select your video down here, and that becomes the uh, the default video for this room. Next thing to do is to save the room. Uh, this is important. Uh, the first time I did this, it got really chaotic because I hadn't set up the permissions properly. So give it a, a name. Uh, so I'm going to call this Pixar Storytelling Part 3. Um, you can fiddle around with background and opacity. That kind of stuff doesn't really matter. But, um, What's important is to do the enable moderation. So the only people, so what this means is the only people who can make changes are members. So, so for members, um, you need to basically click all of these, because otherwise your class will fart around and change it. And it was total chaos the first time I did it. So make sure all of that stuff is done. Click close, and as I say, also give it give it a name. Did I just say that pixels? Yeah. So pixels. Right, and here we are. So what will happen is you, sorry, um, what you then do is you take the, um, the URL of the room like this, and let's say this is my, um, I'm going to add, uh, quickly sort of say, so I'll just put, I'll put a text box here. Right, so here is the first video. Yes, I am. Sorry, my daughter's asking questions. Um, okay, and then link that to the, yeah, and when the students click on that in the presentation, it will take them to the room. And what will happen is they will be assigned in this bit down the bottom here, you will see more, of, you'll see the people who are um, in the video. So it'll assign them like I'm a random username. What I suggest you do is I suggest that you um, get everyone to add their own names as quickly as possible. Um, and then, right, so this bit can sort of dip in and out like that. Um, you can put your own sort of microphone and camera on there, so if I do that, and then here I am down in my little square at the bottom here. Uh, some students have reported that that does make it lag a bit. Um, another thing you might want to do uh, is to make sure that the people's microphones are turned off because it gets very noisy. Uh, there is over here on this side, there is a chat function, um, which is uh, so you can sort of have live questions. It's um, that is something which probably needs a bit of teaching about how to do that because it's um, it can get really noisy in there. But you know, uh, if you're watching an interesting video and the kids are sort of pinging questions backwards and forwards, um, that that can be really um, that, that that's a really sort of useful feature to have. Um, so yeah, uh, there is there is a way you can sort of um, I haven't quite figured out um, how to kind of restrict people on that yet, but um, I'm, I'm working on that. But anyway, really useful. Um, I re I recommend it um, if you've got like a video that you want to watch with your class. 
Um, does need a bit of policing, does need a bit of setting up of expectations to start with.